I'd like to do an acknowledgement, as is our custom, of the Gimoi, Walla, Wallaburra and Yudinji and Uruganji peoples on whose country we're meeting today. We will be having a welcome to country tomorrow as part of the formal proceedings for um, this National Congress meeting here, the third National Congress meeting, and um, very, very welcome to all of you delegates. After three years, at the pace that we're moving, the organisation is evolving incredibly rapidly. We're constantly trying to adjust our processes and our, our structure to accommodate the, the increasing work. So um, that's one of the things that we'll talk about over the course of this and get your input into where you see us, uh, how you see us operating, what are the things that we can do better. Um, membership, as I mentioned before, it was a key priority at the first National Congress. It remains a key priority uh, at this one. This is our first federal election as an organisation. Um, we want to have an impact uh, and we'll continue to work really hard to have that impact in terms of the uh, political parties' platforms in relation to our people. My name's Les Melzer. I'm the co-chair of the National Congress of Australia's First Peoples. Uh, this is our third National Congress meeting and off to a successful start. Um, Half of the delegates that are here are, um, or up to half, are, uh, are new, so this is their first meeting of, of the National Congress for them, and um, uh, we're getting some very interesting questions and comments coming so far. So being here today is a bit like a father watching uh, the child grow up. It's been, I've been able to observe Congress start to make its own way in the world, with its own personality, its own decision making, and with independence. This meeting is really about making sure our delegates uh, work with us. Uh, um, it's important to know that uh, this organisation is not just about an office in Redfern and a board of eight. Uh, we don't have offices all over the country, but our members, our 170 organisations, our, our almost 6,000 individual members, are our arms and legs and links into the community. Uh, and it's really important, I think, that our organisations, um, they're the ones that are promoting us as an organisation to, to their members, but also making sure they're bringing forward the community uh, views, the, the, the community issues and perspectives. And that's how we want to work. Congress has made some great strides since it started in laying the foundations for a long future. And I'm really delighted to, um, to note that tax deductibility status has now been achieved. Uh, from 1st of July and uh, it's something we wanted from the outset so as you become richer shell out and donate to the Congress tax deductible you'll be right. The last point is the seven generations stuff that um, we, we talk a lot with the National Congress of American Indians and they talk about that it's in their vernacular in their vocabulary what are we what are we doing today that impacts on seven generations and I'm not sure that we do that as much as we should. I think we talk about funding cycles, like I just did. Um, but really, that's something that I want to introduce to our discussions, is what, what are the impacts of the decisions for our mob, for our kids in seven generations, and, and to have that as a bit of a filter um, over, the, over the discussions over the next couple of days. When I look around, I see a bright future. Every person in this room has something to contribute to make the lives of our people that little bit better.